We are back live, ladies and gentlemen. The score, 8-0, to zero, Holy Cross on top. This is the start of the second quarter, and Holy Cross is threatening again. The short kickoff has paid off so far. They've kept the ball out of St. Charles' hands for the entire first quarter, Joe. This is all Holy Cross so far. Holy Cross, St. Charles' offense has not ran one single play. Sam Tallarico, I'm sure, is just itching. Now, yeah. just got the shakes probably ready to call play. <laughs> indeed. Well, here's Holy Cross again to start the uh, second quarter. They are uh, second and goal from the six-inch line. They've now swapped sides of the field. And it looks like Curla Grand is going to line up in the tailback position. He's got a fullback behind him. Morrison will be under center. And now we've got uh, Coach Tallarico walking out onto the field. And St. Charles is going to burn another timeout here. Wow. Mm. So he must wow. not have liked his uh, assignments, uh, the, the players out there. We've got a, a Cardinal coming too off the field. Too many on the field. There's too many on yeah. the field. Here's Holy Cross after the timeout, facing a second and in inches. High formation, Morrison under center. Here's a snap, give to Curlegrand, bust through that line for another Holy Cross touchdown. Important kick coming up. Remember, kicks were the, uh, one kick was the difference in that game earlier this season. You have to believe Holy Cross was working a lot on their kicks this, this Yeah, week. that's exactly right. Let's go, please. Let's go. All right, so it looks like Morrison will be in to kick this uh, point after attempt right here. And again, the ball held by Drew Bordner, number 14. Holy Cross wearing white and silver today. And all in red are the Cardinals from St. Charles. Waiting for the snap. Here's a snap. It's a good one. The hold is down. The kick is up. Wow, that's good. That's good, Sean. Yep. I'm going to tell you that was almost blocked. What a great execution by Holy Cross to get that kick off. The score is now 16 to 0 with 7.57 to go here in the first half. We're going to be back in 30 seconds, folks. You're listening to CYO Championship Football on Redeemer Radio, Catholic Radio, AM 1450. We are back to live action, ladies and gentlemen. We're coming to you live from the University of St. Francis. Enjoying the view. It looks like a couple A-10 warthogs out there in the uh, the western sky. Doing some maneuvers. Again, the field uh, showing some great action today by Holy Cross on offense. The score is 16-0 so far over St. Charles. This is CYO Championship Football. These two teams have met in the regular season. The score was 8-6. St. Charles on top of Holy Cross. That was in week two action. Both teams uh, completely different stripes here at the end of the season. It's a low, another low liner. Oh, and it's it up is for hit, grabs. Hit by a St. Charles up man. Bounces off his shoulder pads, goes deep, and finally covered by St. Charles inside the 30 to about the 29-yard <laughs> line. Boy, oh, boy. That could have done Sam Tallarico in if they lost that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're going to mark this one at the 29-yard line. And now we finally see St. Charles on offense. They've got some dangerous players here on the Cardinal offense. Loaded too. with talent. Loaded with talent, skill are. positions. And let's see who's going to marshal these troops here. The field general is. Looks like I believe that is number six, Mac Hippenhammer back there. And it's going to be a stacked eye. For St. Charles, three men straight in a row behind the quarterback who is under center. They're going to do the quarterback keeper around the right side. Here's a sweep. Great pursuit that time by number 24, and he's going to be dropped for a small gain at the 31-yard line. I believe 24, Curly Grant, came from the backside. Uh, that's a power sweep that they like to run. They put hip and hammer. Quarterback, he takes it. They have three men in the backfield, and they all lead him around one side or the other on a sweep. Now we've got Jack Pentenberg, number five, coming in. After a two-yard gainer that time, brings up a second and eight for St. Charles. Again, 16-0 to zero is your score. Holy Cross on top of St. Charles. So each and every drive here really has to count for the Cardinals. I formation, power right. Oh, the ball Bumble. is on the ground on the snap. And again, Carl Williams, the uh, ball carrier that time, does recover after a loss back to the 24-yard line. I couldn't tell what happened, Sean. Almost looked like he was switching hands with yep. the ball or something. Yeah, it, was, came out. it was a bad transaction. Yeah. And uh, that's, I don't know what else to call it that time, but it is going to bring up a third and 15 now for the Cardinals. Third and 
15 for your opening drive. Not, no. what, not what you want. Not at all. Again, the ball resting at the Cardinal 24-yard line. Let's check this formation this time. It looks like it's going to be uh, kind of a pro set here. Split backs. Wide receiver to the left. Now he's coming in motion towards the line of scrimmage. Pettenberg under center. He fakes. He's looking to throw. He's got pressure, and he is sacked. He is going down for a loss back to the 19, excuse me, the 14-yard line. Brought the heat from the outside, brought the heat from the edge, across the field. Penetration there by number 81, I believe, Sean. Yeah, I think Andy Wade. Andy Wade, yeah. Doing a nice job bringing the heat. And again, this drive is going to stall Three and the out. Cardinals. Yeah. And the punch should give them excellent field position as well. As the kicker, number eight, Sam Taylor, is standing inside his own five-yard line. He launches it from the seven. Pretty decent kick for CYO. Takes a bounce at the 35, rolls sideways. They need to down this one, and they will at the 36-yard line. Great field position. Wow, Holy Cross will take over first and 10 from the Cardinal, 36. 5.24 to go here in the second quarter. The score is 16-0. Holy Cross on top. And, of course, now they will take over with excellent field position at the Cardinal 36. Well, the Cardinals are not looking like the Cardinals all they have all season long, Joe. No, three yards on first down. They fumbled uh, on the second down and got sacked on third down. Just you couldn't have scripted it any worse. That's right. So we start the clock. It looked like on the far side of the field, some Cougars are lining up over there. St. Francis looks like they're going to go out for a little run here. Ah, uh, nice day. A little, little jog. Run. Yeah. Nice win for the Cougars this weekend. Big win. William Penn was undefeated. Yeah, was. Right. Here comes Holy Cross on first and 10 from the Cardinal 36. Play action. He's looking to throw. He goes deep on the right side. Beautiful spiral pass. Receiver falls down incomplete. Again, number four that time was the intended receiver, Mark Maulers, for Holy Cross. And he falls down on the route. No flags. Brings up a second and ten. Sam Taylor was over there in coverage. Did a nice job in coverage. Turned, looked for the ball. Did a nice job. Clock uh, at 4.56 here. Again, your score is 16-0. Holy Cross on top. They're facing a second and ten from the Cardinal 36-yard line. And again, I... Okay, I like the quick strike here, Joe, but your run game has worked for you the entire first half for Holy Cross. I don't know why they're airing the ball out. but <laughs> I don't either. You know. St. Charles is so, has shown absolutely no ability to stop the yeah. run of Holy Cross. Yeah. Well, they're going to look at, uh, again, four wideouts this time and a single setback. Two wideouts to the right, two to the left. Morrison under center. Quick screen to the right side. He's got it. He's running upfield. Oh, nice pursuit that time by the Cardinals, dropping him for about a three-yard gainer. Looks like uh, that is uh, number 85. We talked about this cat before, Jalen Hudson. What a playmaker he, he is. He is the playmaker yeah. on the outside. He is the go-to receiver for Holy Cross. Everybody in CYO knows this. Yep. No surprise there. So a three-yard gain that time for the Holy Cross Crusaders. Brings up a third and short seven with 428 to go here in the first half. They break huddle and come to the line. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Again, that spread formation. Single setback is Curligran. Morrison is under center. Here's the snap. Give it to Curligran. He finds a seam. He's in the defensive backfield. He is dragging tacklers with wow. him. Inside the 25, down to about the 23. That'll be enough to move the chains for the Crusaders. There it is. Again, I'm not going to beat a dead horse, but they're spreading them out, and there's just not enough linebackers in the box to, to stop the running game. Yep. And uh, that's uh, the fourth time Holy Cross has seen third down. They've converted, Sean, yep. on all four. That's right. So, again, that brings up a first and ten from the 22-yard line of the Cardinals. So just outside the red zone are the Crusaders with 3.57 to go here in the first half. Again, your score is 16-0. Holy Cross on top and threatening again. Looks like uh, Morrison will be in the shotgun with a single setback to the offset right as Curligran. Two wide receivers to the right. Here's a fake. Quarterback keeper around the right side. He's hitting the backfield. He's still on his feet. They finally drop him for a loss that time. Could have been a much bigger one as Carl Williams was in the backfield for some pursuit. But Morrison somehow evaded the first tackle, but he couldn't evade the uh, second and third. On first down, really, uh, 
really, on first down, St. Charles has been doing good. The last five first downs, they've held them to zero yards, minus nine yards. Zero yards, zero yards, and minus three. Yeah. The last five first downs. It's not first down. hasn't been the problem for the defense. Right. It's third down, getting off the field. Call that a loss of two, bringing up a second and 12. Holy Cross spreads it out again with a single setback. Here's Curla Grant, right side this time, has a gaping hole, breaks a tackle, breaks two, gets shoulders into it, but no, that is going to be a huge touchdown run by number 24, Curla Grant, and mark it six more points in the bank for Holy Cross. Well, Coach, these the, the coaches for Holy Cross make adjustments, yeah. and, and they do it all the time, and they prepare maybe better than any staff in CYF. A Which is why they've won four straight C wild championships. Right. Yeah, we call it deserved. Uh, that's a 24-yard run by Kerlegrand. That score is now 22 to zero with 2:53 to go here in the first half. Morrison will be in to try the point after attempt right here. They're again they are kicking this one, and these count for two in CYO. Waiting the snap. Here's the snap. It's good. The kick is up. Looks like some fingers got to it, but no, it still goes through the upright. Two more points. Takes it to 24-0 to zero with 2.53 to go. We'll be back in one minute. You're listening to CYO Football on Redeemer Radio, Catholic Radio AM 1450. We are back live right here. 2.53 to go. Time is of the essence for St. Charles as the score is 24-0. to zero. Holy Cross running rough shot over this uh, St. Charles defense. And again, it's a... Uh, Short kick. Takes a few hops, and it's going to be covered up at the 40-yard line. Bart Tittman, number 50, falls on this kickoff. Here comes St. Charles on offense. They are led by number five, Jack Pettenberg. Good field position to start at their own 40-yard line. Coach Tallarico has been able to call three plays. We're almost to halftime, and St. Charles has run three offensive plays. Yeah. Well, let's see what happens here on the fourth one. First and ten coming up for St. Charles right now. Four, uh, four wide outs and a single setback. In the backfield with uh, Pettenberg is Mike Hake. Low snap goes through his legs. He falls backwards and just has to cover at that time. So, again, St. Charles, another miscue on offense, results in a huge loss back inside the 30 down to the 27-yard line. Called a loss of 13. Yeah. Brings up a second and 23. Clock continues to run just over two minutes to go here in the first half. So your four plays you've run now, if you're St. Charles, you've had plus two on a run. You fumbled one for no gain. You've got sacked for a big loss, and now you've had a snap over the quarterback's head for a big loss. Yeah. Under center this time is Pentonburg. Single setback, four wideouts. He's looking to throw. Oh, wait, we got us. This one's blown dead. Might be some motion or a procedure penalty against St. Charles. Yeah, it's a false start against St. Charles, so they will move back another five yards. Huh. Boy, oh boy. First and 28, I believe, is what it That would be it right no, there. 13. Well, they need to get yeah, out to the 50. Point. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's what it is. The ball resting at the 22. The down marker still says it says second. It should be first, right? Uh, no, it no, is second. second. You're right. Yeah, it is second. Second. Yep. yep. Second and 28. From the shotgun is Pettenberg. Single setback. Low snap. He does have the ball. He's looking to throw. Steps up. Fires down the seam. Jump ball out there. Carl Williams triple covered. Triple. No, triple covered. No chance for a, rec uh, a reception there. And again, third and 28 coming up for St. Charles. Right, you had Riley Miller cutting across the field and was open. But Pettenberg, uh, I think, had his mind made up maybe that he wanted to try to get a, get the ball to, uh, not Riley, but uh, Carl Williams. Yeah. One minute and 27 seconds remaining here in the first half. The score is 24 to 0. St. Charles on top of, uh, excuse me, Holy Cross on top of St. Charles. St. Charles has the ball. They're on 22-yard line. Here's a snap. Pentenberg has it. He looks. He's got pressure. He rolls to his right. He's got more pressure. He airs it out across the field, and it's caught by Carl Williams. He breaks, breaks the tackle. The tackle and He's on going down way. the sidelines. Look at him go. Past the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. St. Charles scores a touchdown from their own 22-yard line. No flags. No flags. Well, Sean, we just talked about it. 
What with 253, St. Charles got the ball back. 253 left in the half. We said it at our break. They have to get points on the board here because they get the ball to start That's the right. second half. This was crucial. Wow. So 111 on the scoreboard. Carl Williams sheds two tackles, sprints down the sidelines, and scores six for the St. Charles Cardinals. Still a long road to hoe for the uh, Cardinals, but they are on the board now. And let's see what happens with Mac Hippenhammer's point after attempt right here. Every kick is key right now for St. Charles. You, you have to convert on every kick. Here it is, and, and it's low not. and, and no good. Not. No. So 111 to go here in the first half. The score is 24 to 6. Holy Cross on top of St. Charles. All right, folks, we're going to step out for 30 seconds, and we will be back to CYO Championship Football here on Redeemer Radio, Catholic Radio AM 1450. This is CYO Championship Football here on Redeemer Radio. The score is 24 to 6. The Holy Cross Crusaders on top of the St. Charles Cardinals. Up until a few seconds ago, of course, it was 24 to 0. But Carl Williams scampered after a nice catch at about the 30 yard line to run all the way down the sidelines and score for St. Charles. And now we've got a nice kickoff for St. Charles. It's going to be taken back inside the 10 if he can grab it. And he's got it at the 10. Takes it north of the 10 to the 13. And he's going to be dropped at about the 14 there. That's Jalen Hudson on the return for Holy Cross. Good kick, good coverage by St. Charles. Hudson really had nowhere to go with that ball. He had to field it. It was not going to make it to the end zone. No. So he kind of chased after it. And once he realized it was not going to make it to the end zone, he had to pick it up. Yeah, sputtering on the ground down there. It gave the Cardinals a good opportunity to get downfield and make a nice quick play of it right there. <clears throat> well, they spotted at the 14, so a long field to go here for Holy Cross with 105 remaining in the first half. But they do have a comfortable lead, 24 to 6. And here they come on offense. They are led by Peter Morrison, number two. Perligrand is in the backfield. Four wideouts. The ones to the bottom of your screen are well wide. And it's going to be a quarterback keeper right up the middle. Gets into the linebacker core and not much more. He'll cross the 15 to about the 17 yard line. Clock continues to run under a minute to play now. St. Charles used two timeouts already in this half, Sean. So yeah. if they were hoping to stop the clock and maybe get a chance, and they still can. They, uh, nah, not really. No. <laughs> One timeout just isn't going to do it. Yeah. Know. We'll call that a gain of three, bringing up a second and seven for Holy Cross. And about 30 seconds to go here in the first half. They break and come up to the line. Morrison will be under center. Four wideouts and a single setback is Curligrand. He's looking to throw. Looks like, oh, we got a flag on the play. This one's blown dead. And this one looks to be moving back five yards. I believe that's a false start. Five yard penalty. down. All right, so this one's coming back five yards. Going to bring up a second and 12 for Holy Cross with 19 seconds to go here in the first half. In your score, 24 to 6. Beautiful day out here at the University of St. Francis. Sunny and 60 degrees. Wind out of the south at about 12 to 15 miles per hour. Seems to pick up a little bit here if we look at the American flag. This should just about do it. Yeah, 10, 9. Play. If, if, in fact, they get it off is the question. Morrison under center. They do get it off with about two seconds to go. He rolls to his right. Breaks contain. Fires. He's got it at the 20. And that's going to do it right there for the first half of action. Number four that time for Holy Cross, Mark Mahler's on the reception. And that'll do it for the first half of action, ladies and gentlemen. Quite the exciting one for the Holy Cross faithful as the score is 24 to 6. Here from the University of St. Francis, Holy Cross on top of St. Charles. Stick around, folks. We'll be back for the halftime show after this one-minute break. You're listening to CYO Championship Football on Redeemer Radio, Catholic Radio, AM 1450. 